simulation or array. So when you take any uh, uh, data, if you want to represent, suppose if I want to represent 100 numbers, so if you want to represent 100 numbers, uh, you can go for linear representation. So uh, suppose uh, depending upon the language, suppose if you are taking C language, uh, we can go for array uh, in Python, different data structure we can use to represent 100 numbers. Now uh, what actually happens is suppose uh, we are, I told you we are going to uh, implement any data structure in C. So when I take array of 100 numbers, I'll assume that the number is integer. And in C language, uh, integer takes four bytes. Int data type takes, uh, int means integer, takes four bytes. So 100 into four, uh, 400 bytes of memory location is allotted for this uh, array, for this uh, numbers. So uh, for example, suppose in C, I may take uh, an array declaration, something like data of 100 data of 100 then what happens here 100 uh, into 100 into 4 because uh, every integer takes 400 bytes and uh, the property of uh, array or uh, linear representation is the entire uh, uh, data must be occupying consecutive memory areas so 400 bytes of memory must be available here 400 bytes of uh, memory must be available 400 bytes and uh, uh, assume that this is the first data item it is indexed with zero uh, i told you the linear representation will have indexing and uh, assume that this takes four bytes in c and there is an index one uh, this takes another four bytes and so on and uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, 99th because the indexing starts from uh, 0 and it will end with uh, uh, size minus 1. So 99th data item also occupies 4 bytes. Now when you take this array, it will occupy a series of memory locations and uh, if I want to access ith element, so data of i here, when I take data of i, uh, how the data is accessed directly it's uh, not based on the index what happens is here uh, i uh, you must be knowing that uh, array is actually a pointer in c language array is a pointer in c language so in linear representation there will be some base address we require base address means base address is nothing but the starting address of the data structure so in case of c language the array we use as a linear uh, array we array is used to have the data uh, to rep, uh, to be represented in memory in uh, uh, with the help of linear representation so the name of the array will act as a base address the name of the array will act as a base address so whenever you want to access a data item so this is base address plus index into the size of the data size of uh, data item size of data item and it will go to that memory location so it will not be uh, counting the numbers or uh, it will not be counting the elements what it does is it will take the base address so in linear representation also there is uh, address present because array in C language is actually a pointer. Uh, the, that pointer always points to the first element, uh, which is nothing but the base address. So if I want to access a particular uh, element, ith element, actually what we have to do is we have to take base address plus the index of that item into the size of the data item. Then it goes there and access it. For example, suppose assume that uh, the address address of uh, the first element starts at 2000 because every element takes uh, uh, four bytes so the second element starts at 2004 uh, third element starts at 2008 uh, fourth element starts at 2012 fifth element starts at 2016 and so on now suppose i want 0 1 2 uh, 0 2 3 one, two, three, four. So I uh, base address here is uh, uh, data is the base address. And uh, what it will give you is, uh, it is uh, the starting address of the array, which is nothing but 2000. Now suppose if I want to access data of uh, three, 
So what it does is uh, base address, which is 2000 plus uh, I, I is 3 into size of the data item is 4. So it is 2012. So it will go to the location 2012 and then whatever data present there is accessed. So that is how the linear data structure, uh, linear representation of uh, uh, data structure will allow you to access the data directly. I need not run through first element, second element, third element to go to the fourth element. I can directly calculate the address of uh, ith element. I can directly access it. So th this is how uh, the first uh, property of uh, linear representation is fulfilled. That means uh, I told you in linear representation or array representation, we can directly access the data items. If I want to access the ith data item, I can directly go to the ith data item and access the data uh, from there. But uh, how uh, it is accessed, what is happening in background, even in C, uh, these details will not be known. All these things will happen in background. So if it is linear representation, whether, whether it is C language or any other language, uh, this is how the ith element is accessed. So the base address is taken, the index is taken, uh, index is multiplied with the size of the data item. Uh, it will go to the location with that address and it will access the data. So this is uh, how the data is accessed in uh, array representation uh, to be uh, to be more uh, precious uh, to be more uh, uh, more clear what actually happens here is now we are saying see this is one important concept in data structure we are saying index starts at zero index starts at zero but uh, some languages it start it may start at one and it is fixed so in c language the index always starts at zero in uh, some pascal language the index starts at one some cases in some languages i may have a user defined index i want to have the index from lower bound one to upper bound one means uh, i want to have some i want to have index from five and go up to 25. So in this case, there are 26 elements. So this is uh, the formula, what formula we are applying here to access the linear representation. This formula is applicable if uh, uh, index starts at zero, index starts at zero. Index starts at zero. But uh, if uh, the index starts at one or index starting at a different uh, value, it may be negative also, then that formula is not applicable. So, uh, for example, suppose if index is starting uh, at a different location, suppose if I have an array, if I have an array of, uh, if I have an array uh, which whose index starts from five, and it will go up to uh, 20, suppose one array. Uh, another array, suppose if I have array, uh, suppose array one or in another language, uh, in a, uh, another array, suppose if I want to start the index from minus 10, go up to uh, suppose, uh, uh, suppose uh, five. Suppose this is uh, uh, the case. Now, uh, when you take this, uh, First thing is normally when the index is starting, suppose if I take data uh, of uh, 50. Now, when I take this, one thing you should know is the size of the data structure is directly the value whatever we are giving. So we say size is 50. But in this case, uh, if I have uh, uh, 50 here, but index, this is, uh, we can say size 50 if index starts at zero. Index uh, starts at zero starts at zero. Suppose if the index is starting at one, then the size 50 is wrong. So similarly, when I take this, when the uh, index is other than zero, uh, then uh, the index will have some lower bound. Uh, index will have some lower bound and will have upper bound. Now size, how to find is UB minus LB plus one. UB minus LB plus one. So when I take this, uh, the size of this is uh, uh, 2016 uh, because uh, uh, it is UB is 20 minus 5 plus 1, so 16. Uh, why it is 16 is 5, 6, 7, and so on. 
20 so this is 1 2 uh, 3 and so on to 6 minus 1 2 here 20 minus uh, so 20 uh, minus 1 is 5 7 so see if i take this uh, 5 to 7 7 minus 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so this is 16th item so when you take the size of the array it is upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 so the size of the array is 16 see sometimes uh, you may be asked a question uh, in some uh, placement drive when this is my array what is the size of the array so this is this kind of questions may also appear that's why i'm giving this see uh, if you are using simply c language uh, uh, if you are using simply C language, uh, uh, the index is starting always from zero. But uh, normally, when you take uh, data structures or algorithms, they are independent of the language. So uh, the data structure may be uh, suppose in some cases in some language, uh, the data structure may have the uh, indexes uh, other than uh, starting other than from zero. Then uh, the question asked is when starting index is given, end index is given, then what is the size of uh, uh, the uh, data structure is? It is UB upper bound minus lower bound plus 1 is the size here 5 minus of minus 10, 5 minus of minus 10 plus 1. So this is also 16. The size of this uh, uh, array is 16 elements. The size of this uh, array is uh, uh, 16 elements. I'll take one very simple uh, example. Suppose uh, if I take uh, uh, one example AR of uh, minus 3 to 3, suppose minus 3 to 3. So what I'll do is I'll take an array, a full array. So this uh, index is minus 3, this index is minus 2. Uh, index is minus 2, this index is minus 1, then 0, then 1, uh, this is 1, 1, this index is 2, so this index is 3. So the number of elements, if you take, there are 7 elements. This is first element, second element, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven. There are 7 elements. So the size here is 7. Now how do you get size directly? 3 minus minus of 3 plus 1. So the size is 7. So when you take the uh, array other than array whose index is starting uh, from a value other than 0, then the size of the array is calculated by uh, uh, taking the formula uh, UB minus UB minus LB plus 1. This is uh, the size. Now, if I want to calculate the address, normally the uh, the if I want to access ith element, suppose uh, if I take uh, r of i now, r of i, i can be any value in between minus 3 to 3. Now, normal cases, uh, if it is index is starting from, uh, uh, starting uh, with the index 0, then it is base address plus i into uh, size of uh, the data item size of the data item but uh, this is uh, applicable only when index starts from zero only when in index starts from zero so only this is applicable only when index uh, uh, starts from zero from zero but if index is starting from other than uh, 0, then the formula is uh, this one. Base address plus i minus lower bound. i minus lower bound into i minus lower bound into the size of size of uh, data item. This is how we uh, do it. For example, now if I take the same one, assume that this is starting at 2000. And this is starting at 2004. Suppose if you are taking 4 byte, this is 2008, then this is 2012, and this is 2016, and this is 2020, this is 2024. Say I am uh, going a little bit fast. It is always required some practice. You have to practice because we have to cover so many topics. So it is always better you parallelly practice because. Uh, Data structure is not one simple subject. You have to practice a lot. Uh, but from my side, I'll put all efforts and uh, I'll.
try to give you uh, the maximum fundamentals i'll try to give you the programming uh, different uh, uh, kinds of programming different data structures i'll try to implement uh, uh, and show you using some uh, uh, language like c language we are going to use it but uh, from your side you have to put efforts now uh, suppose if i take if i want to calculate if i want to access r of i how does it go there uh, it is base address plus uh, i minus lower bound into size of the data that's how it goes so when i take this uh, base address uh, here is 2000 now assume that i is uh, assume that i is 1 i is 1 then base address is 2000 i is 1 1 minus lower bound is uh, minus 3 uh, into 4 4 is the size so 2000 plus uh, uh, 1 minus of minus 3 is uh, uh, 1 plus uh, 3 is 4, 4 into 4, 16, 2016. That means uh, the item, data item with index, uh, data item with index 1 is starting at, uh, is available at 2016. So that's what we are getting. So that's how uh, the, in linear representation, uh, an item is directly accessed, a random item. So whichever item you want, you can directly access the item uh, with uh, by calculating the address. We will not be running or going through the uh, previous data items, uh, but we will be going directly to the data item by calculating the address this way. So when I take this, so the address is 2016 here. Address is 2016 and address of first item here. So address of first item. Address of first item is also 2016. Address of the item with index. So minus 3, this is 0. And uh, the index, the item with index uh, is, uh, index 1 is here. This is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1. So it is 2016. That's how the calculation is made. So whatever may be the lower bound or upper bound, uh, in case of linear representation, the all the elements of the data structure occupy consecutive memory locations. And uh, if you want to access ith element, uh, the ith element is accessed directly. Ith element is accessed directly uh, with the help of the formula. So, uh, if I am uh, uh, running through each data item, if I want to access uh, if I want to go to ith item, first if I want to run through all i minus y one items, it is a costly process, time consuming. But if you use some formula, uh, execute it uh, within CPU, get the address directly, go to the memory, access it, it is uh, actually the faster way of uh, accessing uh, the data. That's how the accessing, uh, as far as the accessing of the data is concerned, the linear representation is always uh, better than linked representation because uh, in linear representation we can calculate uh, yeah, address of ith element directly go there and access it but uh, the important thing that plays uh, key role here is the base address the index the starting uh, the uh, position of the element starting index which is lower bound uh, ending index which is upper bound so this is how uh, the uh, linear representation of uh, uh, a data structure is made uh, with the help of simple single dimensional array. Now, if you further uh, go here, uh, uh, what happens here is the same uh, concept you can apply to uh, two dimensional arrays also. You can apply to two dimensional arrays. So, when you take uh, in data structures, or in linear representation, you can also have a two-dimensional arrays. Even in C, you can have two-dimensional arrays. And two-dimensional arrays always follows the concept of single-dimensional array. Because in case of two-dimensional array, we can say array of arrays. Or we can say every element of the array is an array. So two-dimensional array, what in simple way of defining it, every element, it is an array. It is an array simple terms two dimensional array is an array but what is the property of this array is every element of the array is again array of the array is again array 
So this is two dimensional array. Again an array. So this is a property of two dimensional array and generally we use to represent a matrix and any two dimensional information. Suppose if I want to represent sales figures of a company branch wise and month wise, then I can go for a two dimensional array. Here first dimension represents branch and second dimension represent month. Why I am giving this example is uh, two dimensional array is not just to represent uh, matrix of rows and columns and uh, it is also used to represent uh, any two dimensional data like I want to represent uh, sales figures of a uh, company branch wise month wise then I can go for a two dimensional array. So when you take a two dimensional array, two dimensional array is an array of arrays uh, where every element of the array is again an array. Now when you take a two dimensional array here uh, the uh, de uh, the declaration is uh, type name of the array and here size 1 and size 2 size 1 and size 2 so when i take this size 1 and size 2 then this is uh, uh, here for example if i take int mat int mat three rows and four columns three rows and four columns here i'm saying this has three rows and four columns this has three rows and four columns normally in manual representation we represent matrix this way we represent matrix this way so uh, the representation of matrix in manual representation i can take this way so there are three rows and four columns this is one column second column third column and fourth column this is uh, uh, three rows. Uh, this is first row is represented with index one. Second row is represented with index. Uh, sorry, first row is represented with index zero. Second row is represented with index one. Third row is represented with index two. Similarly, first column with zero, one, two, three, and fourth column is represented with index three. But this is uh, the manual representation. Manual representation of two dimensional array. But uh, uh, in case of uh, memory representation, memory cannot be this way. Memory is always uh, this way. It is uh, in one, uh, one way, uh, just it is uh, uh, top to bottom. There is no horizontal or vertical kind of axing. It is top to bottom axing. So this is how uh, the array should be represented. Whether it is a two dimensional array or whatever it is, it is just collection of memory locations. So. When it is a two dimensional array, how uh, this two dimensional array represented inside the memory is the first element is represented like first uh, the entire row is represented, first row is represented. So this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 column, 0, 0, first column, 0, 0, second column, 0, 0, third column. Uh, this is an important concept because uh, uh, when you go for uh, uh, different lower bound, upper bound, then this will help you uh, to access a particular element. Then this is first row, uh, first row, for, uh, sorry, first row, zeroth column, first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column, second row, zeroth column, and so on. This is how it goes on. So uh, this is two zero. I'll complete this here. So two one, two 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 three. So this is how it is represented. So this is 0, 0, 0, 1. So uh, the rep this is only manual representation, but same matrix is represented in a flat way uh, within the memory. So the memory representation is not like uh, the manual representation because uh, memory uh, is, uh, uh, is actually represented in a flat way. It is not uh, only one way it is represented. It is not in terms of rows and columns. So. Uh, so even if you take a matrix, uh, the matrix is represented in this form. Now, if I want to access uh, a particular element, so this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2. So the, again, uh, when you want to access ith and jth element, because there are uh, multi-dimensional arrays, every dimension will have a separate index. Every dimension will have a separate index. So if I want to access this mat ij, mat ij as per c syntax if i follow mat ij so it is starting address base address plus plus here 
uh, i into uh, i into number of columns number of columns plus j this is the formula into uh, size of the array, size of data item. so this is how uh, every uh, data item is accessed so here this is actually what this is giving is so what this gives is it gives uh, the number of element before i j then number of element ಹೇಳ್ತಾ and this is 3004 because every integer is 4 uh, bytes 3008 and 3012 3016 3020 3024 so these concepts are important if you understand this uh, uh, the further uh, classes will be very simple 3028 3032 3036 3000 40 and 3044 is it correct now somewhere some mistake 4 8 12 16 20 24 30 32 36 32 36 40 44 okay it's okay correct only now suppose if i want to access mat uh, 2 1 suppose if i want to access mat 2 1 so the starting address is 3000 plus um uh, 2 into number of uh, columns is 4 plus 1 into 4 4 is the size this formula i am applying here so 3000 plus uh, this is 2 into 4 8 plus 9 9 uh, 36 so 3036 so when you take this uh, uh, 3036 is present 3036 which is 2 1 so this is how the uh element i j element is accessed so if you want to access i j element here you have to apply this formula so this is what happening in background so even in c we do not in background because uh, uh, that is how any uh, linear representation irrespective of the language is accessed even if you take some languages uh, where pointers are not used uh, but internally pointers are used by the language uh, even the programmer is not allowed to access internally uh, pointers are used by the language and uh, uh, the calculations are made uh, in this way across the languages across uh, whatever language you are using whether you are using c language python or java even though in c and python there are no pointers but uh, pointer is nothing but address address is available with every uh, language but it is not accessible to the programmer uh, but uh, uh, it may be used internally so if i uh, access i j element of a two dimensional array this formula is uh, applied so this formula is applied like base address plus i into number of columns plus j this is uh, see what is this is the number of elements present before i j so this is uh, first element second element third fourth fifth 6th 7th 8th 9th so before 2 1 how many elements are present 9 that's what you are getting here 9 elements you are getting 9 into 4 plus 36 that's how we are getting so this formula will give you the number of elements present before right element ij element, element. Uh, so number of elements present before ij element into the size of each uh, data item will fetch you the address of ij element so this is uh, the this is how the uh, data items are accessed inside the memory now suppose uh, if i take uh, uh, this is very simple thing but uh, in some languages suppose if i have a matrix uh, of minus 3 2 2 then minus uh, uh, 1 2 plus 1 suppose if this is the case so i'll take minus 2 number of uh, to reduce the number of elements
So to reduce the number of elements, I am saying minus two to two and minus one to one. So now if I take the diagram, I will draw the diagram this way so that uh, uh, it is easy for me uh, to uh, give indexes. Otherwise, uh, uh, it is not possible to uh, see all the uh, the entire array at a time. So I'll give the indexes this way. So it is uh, as per our convenience, we can draw the diagram in any form. So this is mat and uh, the first element. This is uh, minus two uh, min. Uh, this is first index and second index is minus one. This is uh, second one is <clears throat> second one. I'll give. Uh, I'll first draw the uh, elements two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So uh, before I give this, uh, now here the uh, important thing to know is number of uh, uh, rows and number of columns. We have to find out number of columns, which is nothing but in single dimensional array size. So size, how do we do? We, we say upper bound minus lower bound plus one. Here, if I want to find out the number of rows, this is uh, LB1, uh, UB1. This is uh, LB2. To LB2 and UB2. So number of rows is nothing but UB1 minus LB1 plus one. Uh, LB1 plus one. And uh, a number of columns is UB2 minus LB2 plus one. So uh, UB2 is one. Uh, when I take this example, so two minus of minus two plus one. Is uh, this will give you five rows and uh, one minus of minus one plus one. This will give you three columns. So num total number of elements will be five into three, fifteen. So this is uh, suppose first element two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Suppose this is fifteen. 15. Uh, assume that uh, I'll also give the addresses uh, uh, addresses so that it is easy. Suppose I'll assume that this is 3000 and this address is 3004. This address is 3008, uh, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, uh, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52. 56. This is 3056. 3056. Now this is minus 2, minus 1. This is minus 2, uh, minus 2. Because first all rows, then minus 2, uh, 0. This is minus 2, 1. Next row is minus 1, 0. Minus, sorry, minus 1, minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1. Then minus 1, 0. Then minus one, uh, one. Next row is zero, uh, minus one, zero, 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 one. Then uh, two, uh, one, minus one, one, zero. Uh, this is one, zero, one, one. Then two, minus one, two, zero, two, one. Last element is two, one. Now I want to access the ith el element. So when I want to access i j element, so assume that i is uh, uh, assume that i is uh, uh, zero, uh, j is one. I is zero, j is one. Now the uh, address of i j element is. So address of i j element is uh, the formula for finding the address is. Uh, the base address, the formula for finding the address is base address plus uh, i minus uh, number of elements before that uh, lower bound one, i minus lower bound one into uh, in uh, i minus lower bound one plus j into size. I minus LB one uh, is uh, number of rows. Yeah, one minute. Here, uh, what is the formula? Is uh, normally it is uh, uh, the formula what we have used here. 
the formula we have used here is uh, base address i into number of columns plus j so here uh, i into uh, i it is base address plus now when you take base address plus i minus lb1 this gives the number of rows but what is the size of each row number of columns equals to ub2 minus lb2 plus 1 this is number of columns so this is the formula plus j plus j into size into size this is the formula size of each data item now i want i is 0 j1 so lower bound is uh, lower bound 1 is minus 2 uh, upper bound 2 is uh, 1 uh, lower bound 2 is uh, minus 1 that's what i have given here so when i take this this is lower bound 1 is minus 2 upper bound 1 is uh, uh, plus 2 uh, lower bound 2 is minus 1 upper bound 2 is 1 means uh, uh, this is rows lb1 ub1 gives row details lb1 uh, lb2 ub2 gives uh, uh, column details now lb1 is minus 2 ub1 is uh, lb1 is minus 2 yeah, it's correct ub2 is 1 so as per this formula uh, this example uh, lb uh, ub2 is 1 uh, lb2 is minus 1 lb2 is minus 1 so uh, when i apply this formula so i is i want to find the element suppose mat i want to find the element uh, mat 0 1 i want to find this element so i is 0 j is 1 so uh, i minus lb1 is minus 2 then uh, i is 0 here 0 of this one this is uh, uh, this part this is this one now what is this ub2 is uh, 1 ub1 is uh, minus 1 plus 1 so this is uh, what you get here uh, plus 2 into uh, 1 uh, minus of minus 1 is 2 plus 1 3 so 3 into 6 3 into 6 plus j what is j j is 1 so it is 7 so totally 7 so what is the starting address starting address is 3000 3000 plus 7 into 4 so 3028 so which one i want 0 1 where is 0 1 0 1 is 0 1 is here 0 1 is here what we are getting uh, uh, somewhere some mistake i 0 ub2 is uh, um, 0 i uh, 0 0 of minus of minus 2 is 2 this is uh, 1 minus of minus plus 1 uh, this is uh, uh, 2 plus 1 3 into 6 uh, 6 plus j j is sorry j here j minus j minus uh, lower bound this is uh, uh, one more lower bound 2 i have to take so j is 1 1 minus of minus 1 is uh, uh, 2 so it is uh, 8 here 8 so uh, 8 for uh, 8 into 4 32 so you are at 32 so this is uh, the formula you uh, this is the formula to access ith element so this is what happening in background when you use a two dimensional array with uh, uh, lower bound and upper bo uh, lower bound other than zero so there is a possibility that the lower bound is other than zero now this formula this formula is applicable this formula normally if i use a c language this is the formula used but this formula is used only when lower bound is zero lower bound of uh, any uh, dimension is zero then only this formula is applicable but if the lower bound is other than zero then this is the formula base address plus here what you have to, uh, this formula what it gives is uh, again this uh, this part will give the number of elements before ij element number of elements before ij element so this will give the number of rows number of uh, uh, rows before i throw into number of columns this will give number of rows before i throw before i throw into number of columns plus uh, number of columns before jth column number of columns 
బిఫోర్ జేత్ కాలం 